Well, known for owning a hotel where people checked in and never checked out, H.H. H. Holmes lived and died or killed in Indianapolis. Yeah, he's been called America's first serial killer and is linked to as many as 20 gruesome deaths in the late 1800s. We've got Kerry Klein joining us from the historic Irvington neighborhood where the latest addition to their Halloween festival offers this terrifying look into the Holmes murders. Kerry? Yeah, good morning, Scott and Julia. Yeah, welcome to the entryway of Hotel Holmes here in Irvington. This is loosely based off the history of H.H. H. Holmes, as you mentioned, and he was known as America's first serial killer and known for killing his victims through a number of ways, by strangulation, even dismemberment, hence our lovely table set up here in the parlor, the side of blood and bones to kind of set the stage here. Here to talk more about hotel homes is Piper Vogie with the Bindi Agency. You guys are the big sponsors of this feature. Talk to me a little bit about why hotel homes and, and a little bit about the history here. Thanks so much, Carrie. We are really excited to be bringing this to Irvington's uh, Historic Halloween Festival and we thought that things um, in Irvington really have a historic vibe to them and really focus on the history of the Victorian era. So we wanted to bring something that was true to that history. And we thought the story of H.H. H. Holmes, since he lived actually here in Irvington, just a few streets over, was perfect as an inspiration for this project. Yeah, and in addition to the fright factor here, there is also a give back factor as well. That's right. Um, as with all of our events, um, we at the Bindi Agency always try to do a charity um, element to all of our events. In this particular event, a dollar from every ticket sold is going to go directly to the tornado victims from the August tornadoes. And so we're very excited to help them get uh, things taken care of before the winter season comes in and destroys any more of their property. Absolutely. And you talked a little bit about this being one of the most uh, suspenseful psychological thrillers like none other uh, uh, haunted house in the state of Indiana. What about this is uh, particularly scary? Um, well, I think the fact that uh, everybody's experience will be individualized and different. So people will be interacting with our, our ghosts and ghouls and murder victims. So. Um, They'll be having a one-to-one -one experience and be walking around uh, an immersive uh, theater-like experience. So it's very different. It's not your traditional pop-out and boo, although there will be lots of good scares. <laughs> but um, it, is, it is based more in, in the mind. All right, Piper Vogie, thank you so much. We're going to have much more from Hotel Homes coming up in our next hour of Sunrise, where we're going to meet one of the characters who is actually a nod to some of the murders that did take place here in the Irvington neighborhood. That's all coming up at 615. Scott, Julia? All right, interesting experience for people wanting to go through that. Gary, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.